one underestimates the fury and the power of the elements on the warpath. The lash of lightning. The whip of a hurricane. The onslaught of floodwaters. Nor does anyone scoff at the power of the atomic bomb. Like natural forces rampaging, it can create catastrophe and deal in disaster, as proven by peacetime tests. So knowing that the best way to convince a man is to show him, the authorities planned Exercise Desert Rock, an army maneuver yet containing many aspects of a drama. The time, the morning of November 1st, 1951. The place, Yucca Flat, a desolate stretch of Nevada wasteland. Sure, this was a carefully controlled experiment. No one would get hurt, not back here, seven miles from the place where the bomb would go off. The men had the word of those who knew through trial and test, computation and calculation. Put on goggles or face away from the target area. Detonated between one and two thousand feet in the air. And now it wrote its signature in the sky. The mushroom cloud formation that is the autograph of the atomic bomb. And entering it was the next step on the program for the troops. From far off they had seen dog in action and heard its bark. Now they were going to inspect its bites. The area was now harmless. Monitors kept constant check with their radiac instruments and found no hazards in the form of radioactivity. Now they knew they could safely cross the area under an aerial atomic explosion shortly after it had occurred. They had just done it. The film badges they had worn during the operation showed that none of them had received any significant dosage of radiation. There had been some radioactivity, but there's some every place. It was with the men in the radium dials of their wristwatches. So was the dirt with us. They hauled out some brooms and gave us the brush off before we left position two for camp. Decontamination, they called it, in case we had some radioactive particles on us. Well, we'd found out we hadn't. Not enough to bother. So I figured the big idea was to put the sand back on the desert so it could get another flying start at us. That was okay with me. Oh! oh. 